Hello, I'm Simon Whistler. You're watching Top 10's Net, and in the video today, 10 more awesome military mottos from around the world. So, a while ago, we made another video like this talking about very cool mottos from military units around the world, and in the video today, we have 10 more mottos belonging to a wide variety of military units that we think compete with the original 10, and that's starting with. Number 10, the Wild Weasels. A name given to a specialized group of U.S. Air Force fighter planes tasked with a goal so ridiculous their unofficial motto is supposedly the reaction of a seasoned pilot having been told what he had to do, the motto is, you gotta be shitting me. The motto was first uttered by one Jack Donovan upon being told about the official task of the Wild Weasels, attacking anti-aircraft batteries and surface-to-air missile sites with aircraft. Yes, there is a subsection of the Air Force tasked with attacking things literally designed to blow planes out of the sky in the most efficient manner possible. Officially, the motto of the Wild Weasels is first in, last out, but that's nowhere near as hilarious as the unofficial one. A motto born out of a genuine moment of incredulity from a man who just learned he was being tasked with trying to explode anti-aircraft missile launchers by headbutting them from the air with planes. Number 9. The U.S. 442nd Infantry Regiment The 442nd Infantry Regiment is regarded as being, for its size, the statistically most decorated unit of World War II. It was comprised nearly exclusively of about 14,000 soldiers of Japanese descent who served at a time when Japanese people in the U.S. were literally being rounded up and put in internment camps. Their motto is Go For Broke. The stack of medals and citations the 442nd Infantry Regiment earned during World War II is rivaled perhaps only by the size of the empty sack of giveable craps left in their wake. Earning 21 Medals of Honor, 9,000 Purple Hearts, and 8 nods from the President of the United States himself, every soldier in the 442nd Infantry Regiment knew for a fact that their countless commendations would be for naught at the climax of the war. The amount of arse they kicked would simply be swept under the rug because of anti-Japanese sentiment in the US, but they pushed forward anyway, not because they wanted to, but because they had to. All in all, around three quarters of the regiment would be injured helping crush the Axis war machine, fighting against their ancestral home for the glory of the adopted one currently treating their families like war criminals. Each man in the regiment knew they had one choice in every engagement, and it was the first thing they said right before their boots hit the ground, and that was, go for broke. Number 8. The Hunter Corps the Jägerkorps, literally translated to Hunter Corps in English, is an elite Danish special forces unit consisting of 150 men and women. They are trained to covertly murder terrorists using a baffling array of weaponry and are considered experts in both unconventional warfare and combat swimming. They also train extensively with better known special forces units like the SAS, teaching them how to better stab people to death underwater. So what's their motto? Well, that would be rather to be than to seem. The motto of the Jägerkorps is a nod to the fact that the unit is well aware of the fact that despite its skills and capabilities, it is relatively unknown on the world stage. The Jägerkorps, far from being upset about this, actively embrace it because they understand that having so few people aware of what they're capable of only makes them more dangerous. Which is actually kind of genius when you think about it because, I mean, no one's messing with the weird quiet kid who plays with knives. Number 7. The Greek 4th Army Corps The 4th Army Corps is the singular most powerful force in the Greek army. Comprised of artillery units, mechanized infantry, and a crap ton of highly trained soldiers, the 4th Army Corps has the firepower to level a small continent. So what's their motto? Solve the knot with the sword. Like the motto of nearly every unit in the Greek military, the 4th Army Corps motto is taken from a Greek myth. In this case, it's the story of how Alexander the Great solved the Gordian Knot, a supposedly impossible tangle legends claimed could only be solved by a man destined to rule Asia. According to the legend, Alexander, upon being confronted with the Gordian Knot, simply cut it in half with a single stroke of his sword. In the context of the 4th Army Corps motto, solving the knot with the sword basically means solving a difficult problem with violence, which is hilariously terrifying. Number 6. The Corazzieri The Corazzieri are a hyper-elite honor guard tasked with protecting the President of the Italian Republic and visiting heads of state. Consisting of hand-picked volunteers trained in everything from killing men with elbow drops to shooting people between the eyes from a quarter mile away, the Corazzieri are both exceptionally skilled and highly respected despite their largely ceremonial role. In addition to their training, to even become a Corazzieri, along with having a flawless military record, the ability to ride a horse, and an unblemished personal 
personal life, you also have to be over 6 foot 2. For the curious, the horses the Corazzieri ride also have to be a specific height. So what's their motto? Courage becomes stronger in danger. The motto of the Corazzieri is basically a boast that should they ever be challenged or tasked with facing down any threat, it will only increase their power. Like Obi-Wan Kenobi, the Corazzieri know that should a member of their ranks be cut down by a terrorist or similar threat, they'd individually become more powerful than anyone could imagine. This, we imagine, would happen shortly before they charged the threat, screaming from the top of a white stallion in gleaming silver armor as a tiny Italian man their honor bound to protect gave them a great big thumbs up. Number 5. The 5th Canadian Mechanized Brigade Group the 5th Canadian Mechanized Brigade Group is a relatively small military fighting force consisting of about 5,000 military and civilian personnel. With everything from tanks to long-range artillery at their disposal, the 5th Canadian Mechanized Brigade Group are involved in everything from peacekeeping missions abroad to defending Canadian citizens from floods and deadly polar bear concealing ice storms. And their motto is, let's go. Canadians aren't often thought of being anything close to badass, which is kind of a shame, especially considering the official motto of the 5th Canadian Mechanized Brigade Group is a declaration of the intent and eagerness to kick some ass. What makes this motto even cooler is that it's actually in French, being stylized as Allons Yi. This can be found on 5th Canadian Mechanized Brigade Group badges. So yeah, the 5th Canadian Mechanized Brigade Group actually smashed two long-held stereotypes, making both their fellow Canadians and French speakers look more badass by association. Number 4. Corps Comentropen Fighting on behalf of the Netherlands, the Corps Comentropen are a ferociously adaptable special forces unit trained in all aspects of combat and to deal with any conceivable threat in any conceivable location. They can snap necks and cash checks in environments ranging from the African savanna to the Arctic tundra using a variety of weapons, including anti-material rifles that can punch a hole in a tank. And their motto? Well, that's now or never. Given the fact that the Corps Comantropen are literally expected to respond to threats anywhere on the planet, if the need arises, it's fitting that their motto is succinct and to the point. That point being that there is nowhere on the planet that they can't get to you. Given the unit's reputation for using high-caliber weaponry almost exclusively, them bragging about being able to reach out and touch you nearly anywhere on Earth is especially frightening. Number 3. Royal Malaysian Air Force When judged by the standards of other countries, the Royal Malaysian Air Force is relatively unassuming and comprised almost entirely of aircraft sourced from friendly nations. That said, the Royal Malaysian Air Force has a rich and celebrated history, and it is fiercely proud of the fact that its pilots are among some of the best trained in the world. And their motto is always in the sky. It takes a lot of balls for an air force to make a claim as bold as always in the sky, even if it had something like 20,000 planes and a handful of Dementors at its disposal. So you have to admire the Royal Malaysian Air Force for being so cocksure of its ability to constantly maintain a presence in the Malaysian skies that it literally brags that at least one of its aircrafts is in the air at any point in time, waiting to shoot a Hellfire missile into the butthole of anyone who would dare challenge their sovereignty. Number 2. Kapaska the Commando Pasukan Katak is the name given to the elite frogmen of the Indonesian Navy. Usually known simply as Kapaska, the unit is charged with, among other things, reconnaissance and counterterrorism, and is so highly respected, the President of Indonesia relies on the most decorated from amongst their ranks to serve as his personal security. And their motto is, there is no obstacle that cannot be defeated. If it weren't for the pedigree and reputation of the Kapaska, this motto would come across as hyperbolic. Instead, it seems more like a somber statement of fact. To the Kapaska, there is no obstacle that cannot be defeated if they shoot it hard enough. And do note that the motto doesn't specifically say that the obstacle has to be human, meaning the Kapaska's motto is also subtly bragging that they can defeat anything, provided it's stupid enough to be in their way. Number 1. The 11th Artillery Regiment of France The 11th Marine Artillery Regiment, as its name suggests, is tasked with two things. Long-range bombardment of France's enemies and rapid amphibious deployment anywhere these enemies could potentially be found. Armed with enough firepower to flatten a mid-sized city in one coordinated strike, the 11th Marine Artillery Regiment is a force to be reckoned with on the battlefield. And so what's their motto? The other terror after bolts of lightning. 
I really don't have anything to say here except to say that this is pretty straight up badass. The regiment openly brags that the only noise more terrifying to hear in combat other than the sound of their guns would be the thundering rage of Zeus himself. I mean, you have to admit it's pretty amazing that these guys are so supremely confident in their ability to bombard a target from afar that they openly state in their own motto it would be safer to wage war on the thunder planes from Final Fantasy X than anywhere near their artillery. So I really hope you found that video interesting. If you did, please do hit that thumbs up button below. Do not forget to subscribe. Brand new videos just like this every day of the week. Also, over there on the right, a couple of other videos that you might find interesting from the archives. And as always, thank you for watching.